Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will show how do we configure general draw template on our Oracle Redwood page. Let's look into it and see how this can be used to open the draw. So this is my VB application. Let's go there and we are going to update that page called main start page. So here, first of all, if you wanted to open that draw template, draw, okay, so not this one, maybe I have that welcome page. So what we are going to do, we are going to add a component called draw pop-up. So draw pop-up is another component which can be used to open your draw. So I'm going to put it before that template. All right. And then here we are going to put my general draw template that we discussed. So under that, you can put that template, general draw template. So if you say draw pop-up, you can go to the properties and you will find out various other properties like from where you wanted to open that draw. You can uh, say, say temporary or write true. So you can see your pop-up is getting open like this. So this is how your draw pop-up looks like. As of now, it is coming from the left side, but it can come from the right side. It can come from the bottom also. Fine. And you see, it's it has a default close button. When you click on a close button, that will be closed. Fine. So go back to the properties here. And here you can see we have a property called edge. So this edge will tell from where you want to open that draw. You can say end. So it will open from the end. It can come from the bottom also. So you can use that edge property. So I want it to open from the uh, end. So like this. Fine. You can say model, model less. You can say model. You can say auto dismiss, none. Like this. So what I, what I also want. I want to configure my actual component, which is called general draw template. So here you can see we have a draw title called uh, draw title. So you can say manager information. So you see manager information is visible. It contains all manager data. That is your uh, that is called your subtitle. Now, as we discussed, you can also show the next and previous icon. If you go to all, you will find out some more properties called next item and previous item. So when you click here, you can say action display state on. And then you can also say previous item, let's say on. It's not visible here. So what you have to do also, uh, next item, you can say um, next item, item dot ID. And let's say here label. Right, so you can show the label here. Also, same thing you can do in the previous also, if you want. Okay, then you can go to various other properties like Close action. So you can say close action. You want to display the close action on off. You see, close action is not visible here. And you can say close action label also close. So when you hover it, it should show the close. Right? So this is how you configure. You can say drawer size is medium. You can say it can be your extra large, whatever you want, right? And then next item we have already seen and then fine, got it. And then what you can do, you can use uh, input text to show something here under general draw layout and it will ask where exactly you want. So this is how you can keep creating your more data here that you wanted to show now. So by you can see this is how your draw looks like. But of course, when you click on a get manager, then only this draw should be open, not by default. So again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say draw pop-up. Let's change this uh, temporary override to pop. Now what I want, I wanted to bind one variable with that 
with that property, let's say create variable and let's say open drawer, open drawer and let's say it should be of boolean type, sorry, boolean type and create. Now you need to make it true and false to open that guide. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this collection container and let's say event listener and here you see we have this collection container SP primary action like update get manager. So here if you see under all we have this ID as a manager. So I will check if I choose this manager then only the draw should be open. Let's say click here. So let's say mm, assign. It will be like you want to put sorry not here create case let's say manager what do you want you wanted to assign this open drawer as true let's come here let's go to the page designer and let's click live and let's say get manager your drawer has been opened you can close but it will not be closed you have to create uh, what you have to do you have to create a event here so click here Go to the properties and let's say SP clause. When you click on an SP clause, what you have to do, you have to click on assign properties, let's say open drawer and let's say value as false. Now, if you go to the properties and go to the page designer, like get manager, close, get manager and close. Now, what you can do, you can show some data on that draw if you want. So this is how you can configure that draw guys. Guys, I hope you find this video useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.